So before you say to me, I love you I would Hi, everyone. Last week, we announced that Army of Two was part of the Visceral Studios family. At Visceral, we deliver intense, immersive, quality-driven gameplay experiences that keep players on the edge of their seats. And that's what we're going to bring to Army of Two, the Devil's Cartel. Two new private military contractors, Alpha and Bravo, will find themselves in the heart of the Mexican drug wars in this action blockbuster. And powering the action is the Frostbite 2 engine, which allows us to deliver destruction on a whole new scale. Of course, this is still Army of Two, and the only way you can survive is to work together. And when you do, we'll reward you with Overkill, a new feature that lets you and your partner bring massive destruction to anything in your path for a short but incredibly satisfying period of time. Now I'd like to invite producer Zach Moonback onto the stage for our first ever live demo. Thanks, Zach. In this demo, Alpha and Bravo must make their way through a cartel stronghold in order to rescue their allies on the roof. By eliminating enemies, they earn overkill, which they'll use to devastating effect. Alpha, Bravo, Trios, chopper incoming. Firepower. Oh. 
cells and skipping on body armor. Some of them are ex-military. Get a space, man. My gunner is down! Oh, my the mother. LZ is too go. I, I can't land! We gotta go! Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel, launches March 2013. Thanks, have a great show. Herzlich willkommen zusammen. Auch dieses Jahr ist es mir wieder ein Quell großer Freude, Sie hier bei uns auf der Pressekonferenz in Köln begrüßen zu dürfen. I'm Jens Oveintat, I'm the head of European Publishing at Electronic Arts and I would like to welcome you at the Gamescom here in Cologne. And I'm Peter Moore, and we've got a terrific program for you this afternoon, a review of great games and services coming in the year ahead. This is the 10-year anniversary of this German show, only it's no longer German. It's truly international. 
We have roughly 1,000 guests here in the audience alone and more than one people watching via live streaming. That's right, and in the course of the week, more than 250,000 gamers will attend Gamescom to see and play the year's best shooters, sports, action, and... Richards takes the pass and takes up on the sideboards. He steps around the defender, cuts to the slot. Richards shoots, he scores! Dave Richards with a beautiful top shelf snapshot. Hi. Hi, I'm Dean Richards, and I run development. Hold on. That's much better. I'm Dean Richards, and I run development for NHL franchise. What a cool experience for me to be back here on the ice. Before I came to EA, I played professional hockey in Europe. And now, I'm fortunate to be here talking about one of the world's best sports franchises. Let's start with a few things you may not know about our NHL game. First, the A Sports franchise stands for quality. We've won more than 40 best sports game awards on this console generation, including four awards a couple of months ago at E3. The NHL franchise always stands for innovation. Over the years, revolutionary new features like the skill stick, online team play, and real-time physics have fundamentally changed the way you play this game. And lastly, the NHL franchise is global. We're second only to FIFA when it comes to representing our European audience. We have five European leagues, including Germany's own DEL, 66 of the top European teams, including your very own Kölner Sharks, and over 2,100 players representing 26 countries across Europe in our game. But enough with the history lesson. NHL 13 is the biggest leap for the franchise on this console generation. And here's why. First, it's our new connected services and experiences. GM Connected is all new. And it's the biggest dynasty mode ever in a sports game. Get this. 750 people can play together in their own 30-team online multi-user dynasty. And you can stay connected with our mobile companion app as you play as the commissioner, the GM, the coach, or even a player. We love it because GM Connected gives you that chance to create and participate in your own living NHL and lets your friends come along for the journey. We also have major gameplay innovations that really change the way you play. This year, the True Performance Skating Engine highlights a profound gameplay overhaul. It's a fundamental change to our locomotion system that powers how our players move around the ice. This change makes our game even more authentic and extremely fun to play. True Performance Skating captures four big things, and they are the explosiveness, the top end speed, the momentum, and the creativity of the world's best hockey players. Explosiveness is that first step that is so crucial for you to create or close space between you and your opponent. And once a player initiates that explosive first step, they get up to some insane speeds. And that is top end speed. Hockey is the fastest team sport on the planet with the average hockey player going at about 40 kilometers per hour. It's the Autobahn for sports games. Top end speeds, allows players to streak down the ice, and it opens up more offensive and defensive opportunities. Insane speed is great, but managing your momentum is crucial. That's why True Performance Skating Engine is driven by real-world physics. If a tight turn is impossible in real life, you'll feel the momentum push it back against you in-game. Players will now go through realistic transitions between forwards and backwards skating, and mismanaging that momentum can result in an opponent stepping around you. And finally, creativity. With over a thousand new skating animations, we've unlocked a ton of new creativity for players to explore out on the ice. From backward skating to circling behind the net and quickly transitioning to your forehand to get a quick clean shot, 
the possibilities within our new skating system are something we are so excited to see in the hands of our fans. True performance skating has changed the game. NHL 13 is faster, it is smoother, and it has way more creative opportunities for players to experience. True performance skating and GM Connected are just the tip of an iceberg of cool new stuff in NHL 13. And there's so much more we've got for you at the show. So we hope you jump over the boards, hit the ice, and give this game a try. And here is the good news. The NHL 13 demo will be live for both the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 across North America and Europe beginning next week. NHL 13 hits retail on September 13, 2012. And you can pre-order NHL 13 on Origin and at other major retailers. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the show. Hello everyone. At E3, we introduced our take on Need for Speed Most Wanted, and the reception was incredible. We took home the most awards ever for a Need for Speed game, including Game Critic's best racing game of the show, a real honor. Now at Gamescom, we're back, revealing more of this exciting open world driving game that lets you compete to become most wanted amongst your friends. In Need for Speed Most Wanted, our aim has been to shake up the series and breathe new life into the genre. To do that, we have to challenge convention. And we asked ourselves a question. Why can't players play with all of the cars in our game whenever they want? Up to now, the only answer to that question has been because 20 years of convention says that you can't. We're throwing that convention out the window. We believe an open world game deserves an open game structure. Right from the very start, players will have the freedom to drive pretty much any car that they want. If you can find it, you can drive it. No more grinding through hours of play to get to your favorite. We're creating a new way of playing driving games for a new generation of players. Drive through Fairhaven, find new cars, then race, chase, and explore them to upgrade them. Now we can truly say that my first hour of play will be unique to me. In 2010, we launched our revolutionary Autolog system. Now with Autolog 2, we're integrating your friend's play more deeply into the game than ever before. Autolog continually tracks your performances, instantly comparing them to your friends, and then injecting the results directly into the heart of the game. Every aspect of this game puts social competition at your fingertips. Want to see who's fastest in a race? Drive to the race start. Want to see who's best through a speed camera? Pull up to it and Autolog will tell you. And what better way to see who's, which of your friends has jumped the furthest through one of our billboards? We put their face on it. It's great to beat a friend by smashing your car through their face. Sorry, Peter. 
With Autolog's deep, powerful friends integration, we have a truly social game that engages friends unlike any other. Everything you do in Need for Speed Most Wanted earns you SP, speed points. These drive the competition to be most wanted amongst your friends. Today, we're detailing a new feature for Autolog. We call it Cloud Compete. Compete against your friends and rack up speed points on the console, then add to those speed points when you play on iOS, Android, or PlayStation Vita. For the first time, I can level up in multiplayer when away from the sofa, then move up the most wanted list when traveling. With Autolog and Cloud Compete, we believe that Need for Speed Most Wanted is the most socially connected game of this generation. But enough talk. Here to show a slice of the action is producer Hamish Young. <laughs> Hamish is going to show you how easy it is to switch to another car, then take on one of his friends in an Autolog recommendation. Thank you. 
There we go. Take a bow. <laughs> we can't wait for you to play the game when it launches November 1 in Europe and uh, October 30th in North America. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the show. Thank you, Matt. Need for Speed looks really good. Uh, my name is Patrick Sutherland, and last year I was here on stage showcasing Battlefield 3 with the DICE development team. We're, we're frankly overwhelmed by the response that we've received from, from our fans, with over 15 million gamers storming the battlefield to date. In Germany, that's more than one million of you that have joined our fight. Danke. We set the development bar with Battlefield 3 quite high, and we will continue to give you the best gameplay experiences that deliver a diverse and unique universe within the FPS genre. Today, we're evolving our technology with the power of a world-class Frostbite 2 engine and our social network, Battlelog. The common denominators between Medal of Honor and Battlefield are Frostbite and Battlelog. We're taking what we learned from Battlefield 3 to give you the most authentic, modern military shooter this holiday with Medal of Honor Warfighter. It's about real warriors, real operations, and real places. Warfighter is being built on Frostbite 2, and we're making it easier for gamers to share, compete, and communicate with their friends via Battlelog. Please welcome to the stage Greg Goodrich to show you how we're taking Medal of Honor global. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Patrick. This October, Medal of Honor Warfighter will deliver the only truly authentic modern military shooter of the year. Inspired by real warriors, real operations, and real places, Warfighter is more than just an entertainment work of fiction. We are placing gamers in the boots of today's most elite warriors. In multiplayer, we're pitting the best against the best, heroes versus heroes. And for the first time in our franchise history, we're allowing gamers to represent their own nations online. We travel around the world to international hotspots where 12 different tier one units from 10 different nations compete across six different classes. That's more than 70 unique combinations on the battlefield. But we didn't stop there. We've created a web-based metagame in our social network battle log, where 193 United Nations are represented. So nearly every country can get in on the action. GamesCon attendees will get a chance to represent their nation this week on the show floor. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Criterion guys should check the org chart as they build their features into their game. 
As the world's number one mobile game publisher, we have the privilege of working with some of the most creative minds in the entertainment industry, including the award-winning team from The Simpsons, one of the most iconic brands in TV entertainment with more than 500 episodes over the last quarter of a century. We wanted to immerse gamers in a Springfield of their own construction. And after 23 seasons, the Simpsons universe is huge. Quite honestly, we bit off a bit more than we could chew to start with. We launched the game, it was so popular, it melted our servers, and we had to bring it down from the App Store. No! So, for the past several weeks, we at EA have been writing our lines on the chalkboard, and I'm proud to say today, we're getting out of detention. The Simpsons Tapped Out is back. The game is free to play for iOS and is live now on the German App Store. It will launch this week in the US and worldwide over the next month. You'll also see some really cool new content in the year ahead, tied in with this year's TV episodes, the 24th season of The Simpsons. Take a quick look at The Simpsons Tapped Out. Abraham. I'm home. <laughs> this game is life ruiningly fun. <laughs> Can't wait. Now, a little over a year ago, we introduced the world to our online gaming platform, Origin. More than 21 million people across the globe are now connecting through Origin, through their PC apps, mobile devices, and the web. Each and every day, we're connecting more and more players to their games, and equally importantly, to their friends, anytime and anywhere. With over 500 titles, and exclusive content from more than 50 different developers, not just EA. Origin delivers cross-device experiences enabled by features like CloudSafe. However, Origin is evolving into much more than a place you go just to buy games. The vision is to deliver an experience for gamers that is something much bigger and broader than that. So this year, we're building Origin into the place to connect to your gaming life. We're expanding the Origin universe across more platforms, and I'm excited to announce right here we're bringing Origin to the Mac. We're also adding features to make Origin even more social, including sharing gameplay, achievements, and challenges with your friends, and tracking their progress in your favorite games. Additionally, improvements to the user interface on all platforms will make it easier to find your new games for you and your friends to enjoy. And finally, it goes without saying that we'll continue to deliver the best new games from our EA and our partners direct to you. Now, this is just the beginning of what is to come from Origin this year. We'll reveal more details in the months ahead. You'll have even more reason than ever to log on. Whenever and wherever you want to play, Origin will be there to connect you to your games and to your friends. From PC to mobile, free to play and more, it's all on Origin. And speaking of all on origin, I want to introduce Jordan Edelstein from the Maxis label, here to talk about a game we're all excited about, the return of SimCity.
Thanks, Peter. It's human nature to explore, experiment, to dig into the how and why of both simple and complex systems. I know that I'm curious, and I like to think I'm creative, and I'm always looking to be challenged in new and fun ways. For over 20 years, Maxis has given all of us the tools to satisfy that urge to explore and play. And now, SimCity will take that even further. In SimCity, you decide what kind of city to create, each with its own specialized economic strategies. I want to build a casino playground. Jens Uwe, a university town. Peter wants an industrial complex, and don't worry, he will leave room for Anfield. It's all entirely up to us. Your city will reflect the decisions you make and show you the impact on your population and the look of your city. And this is all thanks to the powerful Glassbox engine. Glassbox simulates all the little details right in front of your eyes and lets the city mechanics emerge from their interactions. Build the residential zones, watch the buildings rise, and see the sims pour into your city. You can build all the curvy roads you want, but then you have to live with the traffic consequences. We can all dig into the guts of the game using the graphical data layers to quickly understand the consequences of every decision. Our fans demand a deep single player experience, and that's what we're delivering. But that experience is set within the context of a wider connected world, a dynamic ecosystem where each city is interconnected on a macro level. Economies, resources, and population are always in flux. Now, Glassbox is the brain that also powers a new feature set that we call SimCity World. This is how we connect SimCity players to each other and to great gameplay opportunities. In essence, SimCity World provides the connective tissue, the, the framework that gives players fresh dynamic content. Play alone, play with your friends, or play with the whole world. Sim City. Billions of people, millions of ways to play. Now you can connect to a larger dynamic world. Ich spiele mit den Markten. Prices fluctuate, industries grow. How will your city move the economy? Je relève le défi. Collaborate to earn rewards. How will your city contribute to the bigger picture? Measure your success and climb the ranks. Be a part of a larger community. Welcome to SimCity World. So that is SimCity World in action. We are very excited to give our fans here in Cologne the first ever hands-on demo with SimCity. But if you can't be with us here, then head to SimCity.com to register for our upcoming beta program. But get in quickly, the spots are limited. And everyone can pre-order SimCity on the PC today. Finally, one last piece of news. Something our fans have been clamoring for. Maxis is bringing SimCity to the Mac on Origin. SimCity, coming to PC and Mac in February 2013. Thanks. Thanks. Hi, everyone. It's great, here, great to be back here at Gamescom. And this is the only show in the world where we're face to face with a quarter of a million fans. And we get to see their passion for Battlefield firsthand. So thanks. We are committed to support Battlefield 3 long after launch. And that's what Battlefield 3 Premium is all about. 
Battlefield 3 Premium delivers early access to new maps, modes, weapons, and vehicles. And since its launch in June, more than 1.4 million fans already signed up to receive five massive digital expansion packs, each themed with a different aspect of Battlefield that our fans truly love. Both Back to Karkand and Close Quarters expansion packs are already available today for download. And next up is Armored Kill, featuring all-out vehicle warfare or some of the biggest maps in the battlefield history. Armored Kill puts players in new tanks, ATVs, mobile artillery, and the aerial gunship that will let you rain death from above. And this pack will launch on September 4th, starting with PlayStation 3 premium members. In December, we will deliver Aftermath, set in a destroyed city moments after a devastating earthquake. Gamers will fight through the dust and rubble on four brand new maps. They can leverage new, heavily modified military and civilian vehicles and combine that with ingenuity and firepower. And finally, Endgame, featuring four more themed packs and the debut of motorcycles and coming out in March 2013. With these five expansions, we're bringing players a wealth of new content well into next year. I know there are a few gamers out there that haven't joined us yet on the battlefield. And for those individuals, I have an offer that is very hard to refuse. Today, I'm happy to announce the Battlefield 3 Premium Edition. Simply put, the Premium Edition is everything Battlefield 3 rolled into one amazing package at an incredible price. The Premium Edition includes the award-winning game, Battlefield 3, as well as a full premium membership. And to help the new gamers jump right into the action and actually compete with the veterans, we are including a multiplayer welcome kit that immediately unlocks a variety of weapons and vehicle upgrades. The Battle 3 Premium Edition will be available this September. Now, let's check out the new trailer featuring the Premium Edition, Armored Kill, and you should keep your eyes open for a glimpse of Aftermath. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. 
My name is Rasmus Hoingo, and I'm very excited to be here. It's really great to see so many gamers from all around the world right here in the backyard of Crytek, basically. So I guess it's without a doubt that Crytek and the CryEngine has become famous for its amazing technology, and with Crisis 3, we're pushing this even further out. We've created a world where there's a complete new level of freedom in an environment where you're waging war on two fronts. On one side, you have the corrupt cell industries, and on the other side, you have the evil Seth aliens. Of course, you'll be fighting this fight with advanced weaponry and new nanosuit capabilities. And you'll slowly transform yourself into becoming the deadliest hunter on Earth um, as you go on a quest to save mankind. All this great action takes place inside a beautiful and diverse environment we call the urban rainforest, which is essentially in the concrete jungle of New York City. And today, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of a new multiplayer mode we created that we called Hunter. In the interest of time, we'll only have nine players here on the stage playing it instead of the full roster of 16 that this most, uh, mode features. But uh, let's give it up for our nine players. So, Hunter mode is essentially a true test of survival. A cell transport VTOL ship has been shut down, and all the cell troopers inside this ship need to fight for survival before they're evacuated. The gameplay starts asymmetrically with two teams. The larger of the teams are the cell troopers, which will wield very advanced and powerful weaponry. And here on stage, they're the red guys who will now pledge allegiance. And the small team are the cell, uh, sorry, are the hunters, which are clad in nano suits and wielding nothing but a powerful bow. And it's these blue guys, Ben and Francisca, here. In a race against time, these two guys must ensure that all the cell troopers will not make it until they can get evacuated. But there is a twist because every time a cell trooper gets killed, he will respawn as a hunter, thereby changing the bias of the whole team setting. Um, and that happens until there is not a single cell trooper left standing. But let the hunt begin. Thank you guys for a job well done. You showed those cell bastards. So this was nothing but a small sneak preview of the intense action that you can expect from Crisis 3. And the wait is fairly short because the hunt will initiate already in February 2013. So enjoy the show and thank you.
Okay, just stay calm. Another cell down. Five cell remaining. Hunt them. Kill them. Don't let the hunters swarm you. Thanks, Rasmus. Clearly no skimping in the audio budget for the bass there, Rasmus. Thank you guys at Crytek Studios. Located just a few kilometers from here in Frankfurt, and they're one of the world's most distinguished creative organizations. Congratulations on Crisis 3. It looks like another huge hit for gamers. Next, an update on one of EA's newest and biggest franchises, Star Wars The Old Republic. As you may recall, in May, we announced a new general manager of Bioware Austin. He's here today to tell you about some huge updates in both the content and free-to-play model. Please welcome Matt Bromberg. Thank you, Peter. Guten Tag, everyone. For the last two weeks, it seems that every conversation I've had has been dominated by folks sharing their ideas and thoughts about the Old Republic. Nothing is more energizing and exciting for our team than the passion of Star Wars fans and I'm really pleased to be here among so many of you today. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about what's coming next over the next few months and how we're thinking about the evolution and the growth of our game. This fall, Star Wars The Old Republic will be expanding to include a free-to-play option, and players have already begun earning special rewards in the form of cartel coins, our new virtual currency, which can be used to make purchases from our in-game store in the months ahead. As a company, we believe in free-to-play, and with a universe as big and deep as the Star Wars universe, there's an amazing opportunity to bring new fans to the game. Today's players want flexibility and control, to play as much or as little as they want, and to pay only for those features that are meaningful to them. Adding a free-to-play option delivers that. But the future of the Old Republic is about a lot more than just free-to-play. We're also committed to providing more frequent content updates beginning right away. Next month, we're releasing a new high-level operation, Terror from Beyond, which takes place on the planet of Belsavis. Soon thereafter, we'll release a series of, of level 50-plus space missions, and for PvP fans, a new war zone called Ancient Hypergate is on the way. And today, we're kicking off a new dynamic in-game event called the Grand Acquisition, an adventure that challenges players to travel the galaxy in a race against time with an unexpected twist at the end. Here's a taste of the Grand Acquisition, live in the game now. We're excited that, about all that's new with Star Wars The Old Republic. And before I go, I wanted to share one more thing with you, a sneak peek at a video we're creating to celebrate this next chapter in our history. Now is a great time to live out your online, adve online adventure. Join us. Moga die Macht mit dir sein. May the force be with you. We are no longer friends or neighbors. Today, we choose a side and join the battle. 
Play Star Wars The Old Republic. Free to play option coming this fall. Hello again, Gamescom. It's now time to travel deep into dead space. Dead Space 3 will take you on a heart-pounding rocket ride. Full of tension and thrills, this is the biggest game we've ever built. Isaac Clarke's horrifying story lands him in a wealth of new hair-raising locations, including a flotilla of lost spaceships, hostile, claustrophobic environments, and the frozen planet of Tau Volantis. You can experience this alone in isolation or with a friend in our seamless drop-in, drop-out co-op game. It's all about player choice in Dead Space 3. But to survive these deadly environments, you'll need more devastating tools. And now we're delivering one of the most highly requested features, our all-new weapon crafting system. By scavenging raw materials and parts, players will now be able to craft their own weapons that help in their survival. Imagine your rivet chain gun with grenade launcher, a scope and flame glaze. The possibilities are nearly endless. And starting today, you can submit your dream weapon of choice to our Tools of Terror weapon crafting contest on deadspace.com. The winning entry will not only have their tool recreated, but they'll have their likeness in the game as well. Now let's welcome producer Sharif Fatou on stage to show off one of these epic Dead Space 3 moments. <laughs> Isaac and his crew have just come out of shock space, hoping to find Ellie Langford landing in the middle of a minefield that guards a derelict flotilla. Isaac's ship is being torn apart as we join the action. Sixty seconds left, take them out!
Nice work, Sharif. Now, for those of you at Gamescom this week, you can stop by and get your hands on the full demo, as well as weapon crafting in the EA Business Lounge. Lastly, we want to thank the Visceral team members around the world for leading with quality first. And today, for the first time, we're announcing Dead Space 3 will launch here in Europe February 8th and North America February 5th. Enjoy the ride. Commanding officer at way station Romeo. They began reacting to bright lights, retreating to the dark corners. They were my friends and colleagues not so long ago. Turn it off. Hey, Isaac! Turn it Isaac. off. Mama, what's going on? Turn it off. Hey! The markers have to be stopped. And all the clues lead here. Jesus. Coffins everywhere. Looks like some kind of a funeral. Executions. Blood stains on the wall are head height. That's no good. They're here. Which means they're everywhere. Get a weapon for everyone. Good afternoon. It's always great to be here at Gamescom, especially for us at EA Sports this year, since we have two of our true fan favourites here at the show. Of course, you've seen what's coming in NHL, and up next is the big one, FIFA. But before we move to all the news for FIFA 13, a few thoughts on the global connected FIFA universe overall. The FIFA world is about unique, dynamic, and persistent football experiences and it just keeps getting bigger and better. Two weeks ago, we announced an all-new game, FIFA Online 3. It's a free-to-play PC online experience in development at our studio in Seoul, and it will be published later this year in Korea by Nexon. Nexon will be a great partner. Their powerful publishing operation will bring this game to fans in one of the largest and most loyal markets in the world. This game is Next Generation FIFA, built on the award-winning FIFA gameplay engine, stunning graphics, and rich five-on-five -five multiplayer experiences. New players are going to love it, and longtime FIFA Online players will be recognized and rewarded in the new game. FIFA Online 3 comes to Korea later this year. Shifting gears to FIFA Ultimate Team, the game within FIFA that has captured millions of fans in the past four years. FIFA Ultimate Team has become a massive part of the FIFA community, where fans build, manage, and play with the ultimate team of football stars from around the world. Now, some of you have heard us speak about Ultimate Team in the past, but you may not know actually what it is, so I'm here to help. It's really very simple. Ultimate Team is its own social ecosystem of connection and competition. And it's accessible right off the main menu of FIFA. Here's how it works. It all starts with in-game currency. This season, fans have spent more than 92 billion coins. That means almost half a million coins have been spent since I walked out here on stage just a couple of minutes ago. But it's the trades that make Ultimate Team so fascinating, and our fans have made more than 30 million of them this season alone. Once your team is set, it's all about the match, and fans have already played a staggering 380 million games within FIFA 12. 
So millions play it, but for those of you who have not, we're making it easier than ever for fans to dive in and experience all the fun and competition that is FIFA Ultimate Team. We've completely overhauled the experience for new players, taking you step by step through how to build your squad, get new players, and start your own Ultimate Team journey. And we'll welcome back returning players with special award packs to kickstart the season. We've got a ton of new improvements this year, like the introduction of the popular Seasons mode, Team of the Week challenges that follow the real world football season, and lots of great Ultimate Team Unlockables in the EA Sports Football Club catalogue. And you can react to the big news on the auction market anytime through our website or our new EA Sports Football Club app. So if you've never played FIFA Ultimate Team, there's never been a better time to start. And for those returning for another season, you'll come back to an experience we know is the best Ultimate Team we've ever created. And without further ado, I would like to welcome the mighty David Rudder. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, just a couple of minutes to quickly say uh, thanks very much to the amazing team back in Vancouver. You're totally awesome. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you all soon. Uh, so FIFA 13, this year, it's all about unpredictability and capturing the true drama of uh, the real football world. No two matches will ever be the same as we bring our fans that drama in FIFA 13. As you know, gameplay really is our soul, and our innovations this year include our new first touch control system, attacking intelligence, and complete dribbling, uh, delivering the best on-pitch experience that we've ever created. And EA Sports Football Club, the heartbeat of FIFA, gets even bigger and better this year with new ways to reward and engage our fans all seasons long. This is the truly crowning moment in the franchise's history. But we're not done, because today I get to tell you even more. Last year, on this stage, we announced head-to-head -head seasons. And what an amazing year. Little did we know that this would be our most popular and addictive online mode ever. Fans in every corner of the globe have played almost one billion matches of this, this mode this year. So we've taken everything our fans loved from last year and done much, much more in our new and improved FIFA seasons. The online world of FIFA is truly going to explode. We've expanded seasons through new 2v2 co-op online play so you and your mate can compete at the same time together. We have persistent squad file saves as well across multiple FIFA seasons, so once you've perfected your lineup and tactics, you can use them for every match. We've also added division titles to all divisions in the game, giving you an extra goal beyond simple promotion. And we'll be introducing a new trophy cabinet that you can admire and brag about as you collect your well-deserved hardware through the season. And for our fans here in Germany, there's an extra bonus for this season. The virtual Bundesliga brings online competition directly to the fans that follow Fussball. Here's how it works. You register your game, uh, pick your favorite Bundesliga team, and join in on the monthly competitions uh, to find the top FIFA player in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, as well as the Bundesliga club with the best FIFA players. Pre-season kicks off when FIFA 13 launches, but the true stuff starts on October the 1st, uh, for real, and we'll crown a virtual champion at the end of the season in a live showdown. So, there's nothing bigger or more unpredictable in the world of sports than match day itself. But outside of that 90 minutes on the pitch, millions of our fans engage with their club through FIFA. They rewrite history, they seek redemption, they fulfill their dreams, and they emblazon their virtual crest on their chests. Today, we announce another huge innovation for FIFA 13. This is EA Sports Football Club Match Day, the deepest and most meaningful integration of video games and the real world of sports ever. Now, our game and the football season will be completely connected. It's a huge innovation developed by our team back in Canada. Through Match Day and throughout FIFA, fans will be following right along with the heartbeat of football and their favorite club. Because every hour of the day, the football world changes. Injuries, suspensions, team form, and media gossip are all part of the story as it unfolds throughout the season. And now, with Match Day, you'll hear those real-world developments through the in-game commentary for the world's top leagues. The end of this season's Barclays Premier League in England was as dramatic and unpredictable as any in memory. So using those amazing storylines and headlines, here's how FIFA 13 looks and sounds with Match Day. 
we've got Barclays Premier League action for you. I'm Martin Tyler, and with me is Alan Smith. Yeah, Martin, great to be here. Great day here, wonderful sense of anticipation. If the home team win, they will be champions of this division. Top goal scorer here, 22 so far. Yeah, he's done really well. He's been so important to this team and uh, led the line brilliantly. Hi, I'm Clive Tilsley. Not surprised you've joined us for this one. Incisive pass. It's a real chance. Oh, and it's there, Rooney. And that's uh, across the field to try and switch the play. Goal news now from Sunderland, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Manchester United. It's been scored by Wayne Rooney. He was played in behind the defence and steered it past the keeper. 14 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. And it's with Tevez. Seen off the danger by sticking out a foot. Well, this is a case of home is where the heart is, isn't it? Still unbeaten here. Yeah, it's been a fortress, without question, and uh, no reason to think that's going to change today. Anticipation leading to the interception there. And he's run away to make that save. Well, they didn't need the goalkeeper in the end because the defender did so well. He's got space, in with the chance. And they have the lead. It's come late in the day, but they have their noses in front. Just marvellous for Manchester City to get such a late goal. Well, that's fantastic. They've won the league title. And look at the scenes of celebrations. Wonderful moments for these players. They'll remember all their lives. And that's just the start. Every time you play FIFA, you'll be following along the real-world season of your favourite club in the top leagues. Their next four fixtures will be suggested for you to play, so you're totally in sync with the beats of the real season. And there's more. This season, players in or out of form will see their stats change throughout the season based on their on-pitch performance in the real world. A messy magic knight of goals will see his attributes climb even higher. So actual player performance throughout the season helps you make critical decisions on how to build the best lineup, formation and tactics. And finally, we'll be featuring games of the week that highlight the top global fixtures. It's a great way for our fans to engage in the biggest clashes from the world of football right from within FIFA 13. And so that all our fans can get a flavour of what Match Day brings to FIFA, it's included in our demo that launches September the 11th. We absolutely cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it. Don't forget the FIFA 13 ships September the 28th in Europe and September the 25th in North America, and it's available for pre-order on Origin and our retail partners right now. And to end our little bit, it's our famous jaw-droppingly awesome trailer for Gamescom. Have a brilliant show, and uh, hopefully get to see some of you in the week. See ya. Thank you, David. 
This is Liverpool's year. I can feel it. Bayern, not so much, maybe. Give me a break. No? Okay. At least I can get Liverpool to win on FIFA. That's about all we can do right now. Anyway, so it looks fantastic, obviously. So proud, as David said, of the team up in Vancouver. Year after year, the team outdoes themselves. That's our show for today. A portfolio of great games and services coming soon to Europe and North America. Thanks for coming. Enjoy Gamescom. Ich hoffe, ich hoffe, unsere Präsentation hat untermauert, welche Bedeutung wir bei Electronic Arts dem deutschen und dem europäischen Markt beimessen und auch welche Bedeutung wir der Messe hier in Köln als alljährlichem Event beimessen. Ich wünsche Ihnen interessante Tage hier in Köln. Vielen Dank fürs Kommen und würde mich freuen, Sie bei uns auf dem Stand begrüßen zu können. And we take this football discussion offline. Let's go. What he said. See ya. Und tschüss. <lacht>